HR Basics is a series of short courses designed to highlight what you need to know about a particular human resource management topic. In today's HR Basics, we explore human resource planning by outlining a three-step strategic process to meet your organization's human resource needs. Human resource planning is a process that identifies current and future human resource needs for an organization to achieve its goals. Human resource planning should serve as a link between human resource management and the overall strategic plan and mission of an organization. The goals of human resource planning are to ultimately improve organizational outcomes. Human resource planning is used in and for all functions of human resource management. Although you might immediately think of things like workforce planning, human resource planning covers the broad spectrum of all functional areas of human resource management. Human resource planning includes figuring out, first, where you are, understanding the current reality, second, where you want to go, understanding and identifying your vision for the future, and third, how to get there, bringing the plan to reality through measurable action. Using this process, you will develop the core elements of a human resource plan, including your strategy, which is an extension of your organization's mission, a bridge between the organization and its environment, your goals, which are statements of desired outcomes towards which effort is directed, to realize your human resource plan, and third and finally, actions, which are the most important things that can be done to reach your stated goals. The first step in human resource planning is figuring out where you are. We do this through environmental scanning. The scan usually includes an external and internal component. The external component identifies and assesses opportunities and threats in the external environment, where the internal component assesses organizational strengths and weaknesses. This process is often referred to as SWOT, Strengths, Weaknesses, Opportunities and Threats. Completely scanning the environment and discussing the results adds value in defining and refining strategy, goals, and action. Use a SWOT matrix, a square divided into four quadrants to complete your SWOT analysis. Each quadrant represents one element, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Let's take a look. Strengths. For this quadrant, think about the attributes that will help you achieve your objective. Ask, what do we do well? Weaknesses. For this quadrant, think about the attributes that could hurt your progress in achieving your objective. Ask, what could we improve? Opportunities. For this quadrant, think about the external conditions that will help you achieve your objective. Ask, what more can we do? And finally, threats. For this quadrant, think about the external conditions that could damage your performance. Ask, what obstacles do you face? Let's move on to the second step in the human resource planning process, which is figuring out where you want to go through the development of clear human resource strategy through critical issues and goals. Strategy begins by identifying critical issues, also known as strategic issues, which are at the heart of the human resource planning process. A critical issue is a fundamental question affecting the organization or your human resource management. Before strategy can be developed, an effective human resource plan identifies these questions. To identify these strategic issues, look for themes in your SWOT analysis and prioritize those critical issues from your environmental scanning. Strategy should be thought of as a pattern of purposes, policies, or programs that define what a human resource function is, what it does, and why it does it. Strategy is therefore an extension of an organization's mission, a bridge between the organization and its environment. Central to your human resource planning effort is a strategy statement, a plain language tool designed to communicate your human resource strategy. As an example, an effective employee engagement strategy might sound something like, create emotional bonds among employees. A goal is a statement of desired outcomes towards which effort is directed. It helps you realize your human resource plan. Goals support and provide direction for your human resource strategy. Your goals need to be actionable, clear to engage staff, and concise to make actions become a reality. I believe that well-defined goals are among the most effective communication tools available to any leader, so consider using SMART criteria to craft your goals. 
To make your goal SMART, it needs to conform to the following criteria. Specific. A specific goal is clear, unambiguous, and focuses on one topic or area. It can be communicated to others without confusion because it's well-defined and easily understood. Measurable. A measurable goal has a definitive endpoint and is quantifiable through numbers or percentages that can be easily measured. Achievable. An achievable goal is a goal that's possible to accomplish. Relevant. A relevant goal is one that helps you achieve your human resource plan, and it's important to them and the organization. And finally, time-based. A time-based goal is one that has a scheduled completion date. So let's move on to our third and final step of our human resource planning process, which is figuring out how do we get there through the identification of actions and performance metrics. Actions are the most important things that can be done to reach stated goals. After uncovering how critical issues inform goals, we can now turn to a conversation of the means by which to reach those goals through our actions. For each goal, develop at least one and up to three action items to achieve that goal. Monitoring is all about an organization's plans for reviewing and refining a human resource plan. Metrics provide the means by which successive actions can be measured and tracked. Enduring the work of strategic planning may be reason enough to ensure definitive progress towards realizing goals is made. Far more important is the ability to measure progress, clearly communicate what activities need to be done to reach goals, and to monitor the plan to ensure continuous review and refinement. Human resource planning is critical for each functional area of human resource management. Ask these three simple strategic questions. Where are we now? Where do we want to be? And how do we get there to frame your next human resource planning process? Doing so will ensure that you develop the right human resource strategy, goals, and action items to realize your plan.